Okay, this video is going to talk about how to adjust and clean and fix points. Specifically on a Honda Z50R engine like this, or like the CT70s or whatever. But this will work on pretty much any motorcycle, or even lawnmower engine, that uses points and condenser. This video is just going to be... So I'll have some tips that will help you with pretty much anything. But, uh, but it's going to be specific for Z50Rs. Because that's the kind of motor that I specialize in. I've been working on them for years. The first step is you're going to have to actually get to your points. If they're under the flywheel, you'll need a flywheel puller. On a lawnmower, lawnmower you'll need to like loosen this nut and then pry on the back of the flywheel and hammer on it. Hammer right on the end of the nut. And that prevents the threads from getting messed up. Um, it's not really a good idea because I've never had it happen, but apparently some people have and the flywheel can shatter when you start it again. Um, I like to just use an impact wrench, pop that bolt off and use a correct flywheel puller. It makes it so much easier to have the right tool. This tool will save your life. It works on any Honda engine almost. Well, I shouldn't say that, I don't know for a fact, but it works on all the ones I've used it on. It even works on a Suzuki DS80. So I'm guessing that it's a pretty universal thing. A lot of motorcycle companies probably use it if it works on Honda and Suzuki. A lot of Japanese motorcycles, I would, I would only assume. I don't know for a fact. But it works so well. That's why we've been on here for years. I just screw it in, it's a left hand thread. Until it stops, and screw in the middle part. It's a right hand thread. Until it stops. Get a couple adjustable wrenches. Oops. And this will save your life. Done. Flywheel's off. Buy it. Now you can see your points. Um, some say to replace them, but before you replace them, I mean, yeah, it's only a couple of bucks, but, you know, you might have to wait for shipping, or at least go out to your dealership to buy them if they happen. Um, try to fix them first. Uh, if they're old, you might just need to sand them. So what you do is you take some sandpaper, uh, you can use some 600 grit, and then you just, uh, you cut a strip of it. So I'm just going to cut out, like I said, this maybe about a half inch thick, two inches long, like this. Just fold it over. And you have a point sander. See, it's got sandpaper on both sides. Now all you're doing is you're going to insert that into the points and file them away, file away at them. Do this for a few seconds. I'm going to rotate it and use a different piece of this sandpaper. Get some more sanding action. Okay. Now you just need to blow that out with some air. Then just kind of rub them together if you can. See it moving back and forth? Not even a millimeter, probably. Let me just do that. Kind of set them against each other. And now you just need to, uh, on some engines, like, like Briggs and Stratton's, uh, the opening and closing mechanism is, in the, is on the flywheel, or on the crankshaft. But on at least the 50 rs the little points cam is part of the flywheel. And that makes it kind of annoying because you can't set the points unless the flywheel's on, which means that you got to work through these two little holes in the two, li two little slots in here. But on some engines, the points is on the camshaft, and the points cam is just, it's easily accessible. You can work, you can set everything, and even have it run without having anything covering the points. You know, it's all exposed and it's really easy to work on. Now, uh, we got to put the flywheel back on anymore, I guess. Now in here, You'll see, hold this camera perfectly still, or just sit on the tripod here. When the engine rotates, you can actually see the points opening and closing there. See? Now, you're supposed to have them just start opening, 
And this reaches the outer. Um, that's really hard to do. There's also a, um, there's also a, uh, a spec. Let me get the menu. So here we are on the Honda 50 r manual. Uh, point gap is 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters. And that measurement is taken when the flywheel is actually at the T mark, which is when the point should be completely open. Alright. So now, we're looking in there and you can see there's that Allen wrench, or Allen bolt. Let's just loosen this up. Loosen it up all the way, and then just tighten it until it's like, you don't want it to be tight, you want it to be able to hold in place, but uh, still be movable with the screwdriver. If you look in there, you'll see that, uh, like right there, there's a little slot, and there's a corresponding slot. That's where you stick a screwdriver in there, so that you can move the points up and down. Now, you put it to the T mark, which is there. And then you get your feeler gauge. And you can just slide it right on into there. If it fits. And the points are still the feeler gauge is moving the points open a little bit. So that means that it's not actually set quite right. And you can actually see that the gap is kind of small. I can actually set the points by eye, believe it or not, I can just look at them and say. Oops, let's knock the camera over. I can just look at them and say, oh, that gap's not big enough. And I can usually get them running just by looking at them. Okay. So I'm going to open these up a little bit more. Right, tighten this screw down again. Now I'm going to put this to the, to the T mark. Slide the feeler gauge in there. And it's exactly right. So now, you can see the points open and close as the flywheel moves. And now your points are set. So now let's see if this engine will actually start. I just got a bolt on a carb and an exhaust. Uh, plug in the plug in the coil and uh, I can actually just start this up on the workbench. Alright, so about five minutes later I uh, bolted on an exhaust and a carb. Uh, a coil, which I have grounded here. I put a wire, wrapped it around a bolt, and wrapped it around there, so that's grounded. And uh, plug this in. Uh, wire goes from there to the coil to get power. Ground there goes to the, plug, to the spark plug. So now we're going to get some gas and I guess I'll drain some gas out of, the, out of there. And we'll see what happens. So I put some gas in here, squirted it into the fuel line, and uh, all right, now I guess we'll hook up a drill, crank and see if it starts. Get some choke. Smoked a little bit. That's probably just the oil I put in the cylinder because I knew it was going to be stored for a while. But there you go, that's how you set your points.